And we are back, guys, to Old World Blues. Here we go. First video in uh, Old World Blues. We took out Honest Hearts pretty fast compared to Dutch Money. But then again, Dutch Money is just naturally harder. Or naturally a pain in the dick compared to HH. But this is this is the, the hub, basically, for Old World Blues. In the nature of this quest, what I will do is I will just remain in the pa in the patient's gown for now, <laughs> just just until before you know we start dealing with combat. But this, everything has like a module, and you can like restore each one, you know, slowly, and you you know, you gotta find them and shit. But this has got to be one of the coolest hubs uh, or home bases ever. It's, it's pretty badass. What you got here, stem pack. Give me the stem pack. Yeah, nice. The sink needs to be installed. Everything's got to be installed. We just started. And uh, this leads outside. We can't go outside yet because we got to go meet the scumbags. And then let's go meet up the think tank. They installed some shit so you can't hurt them. I thought I heard the pacification field kick in. All right. If you think Fallout is weird, it's about to get a lot weird. This is definitely one of the weirdest the things to come out of Fallout. <laughs> you are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain. The collective geniuses of... We... Why, Oppenheimer, which one of you self-professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? Who was it? Was it you, eight? Oh, Dr. O, was it? Likely story. O couldn't spark two neurons if they were in a lattice of biomed gel. What? Me? Breaking news, Klein. It wasn't me, all right? I'm the robotical engineer. A to sound waves. That's his specialty. You always do this. You always demean me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? It's... Enough! Either of you do it again, it'll be the last time. Now, now, great. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? Did, did it just say something? Anyone catch that? Boros, you work with animals. Translate. It's a little Yo. Here, in the dome. The disrespect to the courier. Oh, as if this situation couldn't get any worse. Now we've got lobotomites. Dalla! Get the spray before it excretes all over everything. Dr. Klein, if my hypothesis is correct, this lobotomite is the repository of the brain we sent the signal to, the skin envelope once containing it. If so, it's proof that there may indeed be something beyond the crater. Just look at it, the way it blinks. It's like a big, hairless teddy bear. I know what it is, Dollar. I want to know why it's down here. With its... its limbs all over everything. And... are those... penises I see wriggling on its feet? <laughs> Bruh, he thinks that's Schmitz. <laughs> toes, Dr. Klein. Little teddy bear toes. Penises are much larger than those tiny extremities. Yeah, not that I would know. Hey, you! Know a human penis ever being that large? It depends on one's own frame of reference, Dr. O. Look at its little nose with its two orifices for ingesting oxygen. Noses? By the great static. These lobotomites confound me with their sheer number of useless extremities. Now it's holding up an array of fully erect hand <laughs> Bro, dear, no if good. If it tries to insert them, activate vivisectors. Dr. Klein. Wait. I... I don't believe those gestures were random. Random at all. It's been following our conversation. The lobotomite understands us. I agree with Boros's histrionic findings. This little lobotomite is unusually attentive for something whose brain has been extracted. 
Nonsense. Lobotomites can't comprehend us. Ace, have you been in the men's hats again? If we slow down our oral processor receptors to understand this excretion, we'll all be rendered ignorant. All of you, power down, shut up, and let me prove once and for all how wrong you all are. As usual, lobotomite, do you understand me? Can you speak? Those were words, weren't they? In the form of questions. He's asking me questions. Is this some kind of trick? Our efforts have turned against us. In playing God, we created a monster. Perhaps as we were ruthlessly lobotomizing it with our cutters, we filled the skin below with awareness. A teddy bear with new stuffing. Wait. If what you're theorizing is this lobotomite understands us, can reason with us, then this may be just the answer we've been looking for. At last, a chance to... Dr. Klein, a transmission from the Forbidden Zone, coming right at us. It can only be... If it isn't it is my, my old, old colleagues, the mighty think tank of Big Mountain, Big Fools, all of you. It is I, Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome-shaped dome in the Forbidden Zone, a zone that is, yes, forbidden to you! Even now, my deadly robo-scorpions swarm across Big Mountain with their pincers and pointy laser tails. Soon, all science will be mine! Even the technology sealed in the Big Mountain Research Centers cannot save you. So cower in your think tank. Wait for the end. That's all. Uh, goodbye. Mobius. Always the same broadcast. He's clearly mad, driven insane by his flawed and imprecise kindergarten-level research methodology. What are we going to do? There's no way we can breach the Forbidden Zone. There's those robot scorpions everywhere. The Forbidden Zone, where no brain has ever entered, nor ever returned. Except Dr. Mobius, and the technologies that could save us. They are out of our reach. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? He's clearly let himself go. What? Ask the lobotomite for help? Aid, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pumps checked. If this lobotomite responded, Dr. Klein, that it is clearly intelligent, perhaps even displays heretofore unknown levels of helpfulness. But what of its brain? We scooped that out. We don't even know where we left it. And for putting it back in, none of us have the knowledge. Yes, but it's still aware and responsive. Look at it. It's regarding us even now, with its big teddy bear eyes. If we ask it politely, and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it might be favorably disposed to us. We removed your brain. Yes. So soft, barely wrinkled, yet so flush with knowledge and experience. Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, then came the coils. The Tesla coils. The coils of Nikola Tesla. Yeah, so... Yeah, eight, no need to brag. They replace your heart, your head, and your spine. And frankly, the, uh... The Tesla coils the uh, in its head. 
the swapped out parts for the most part are better <laughs> than the than the regular stuff. Sometimes there are playthroughs where I don't even swap it out. Like I just leave the new stuff in. Circumventing the pacification field. This is a no no. We have never been in a fight. We do not want that. Reminds me of my days in American High and Richie Marcus. Darla, was it necessary this time? I assume full responsibility. I take my duties in the prodding and excision of living, breathing tissue quite seriously. Although in truth, the Autodoc had done most of the work already. Quite industrious, almost cut into all my investigations. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Dala loves you. First was the heart. This one I always leave on no matter what because you cannot be poisoned. So that means cat's doors are no longer a problem, at least in the poisoning side. That's what really kills you from the cat's door. Their sting don't really kill you. It's the poison, as we all know. So that alone is worth keeping your the, the robo heart. And also, dude, the healing items and chems, bro. Hey, yo, oh, wait, it's great. Second was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. That's also nice. Your torso cannot be crippled. You increase. You got one more strength. What? I know, right? And your damage threshold is increased by one. So I usually spine. keep spineless totally and heartless. Sometimes I swap brainless for the brain Look back. Sometimes my lumbar for and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. That auto dock junk heap was one of Mobius's creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the attic. After that, the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. If so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius. Flush. That is the sound of flushing. Why the Fisher of Rolando? Enough of this biological surgery talk. Lobotomite. Listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. He will most likely come after our brains next. We want you to stop him. Somehow. With science. Science, bitch! <laughs> that is correct, yes. I hope you're not demonstrating resentment now. If you are, well, we can't have that. Oh. Yes, Dr. Klein, what? Not you, oh, you idiot. I meant oh in the sense of, oh, I wasn't predicting it would respond that way. Can it say no? Leaving? But you can't. I don't mean that as a threat. The radar fence that surrounds the big mountain crater will prevent, uh, protect you from straying beyond the facility. The mighty radar fence protects us all. Get too close to the blinking posts, and the proximity warning shall be your warning. You are too close. If you get near it, your vision will blur as the electrodes in your head shut off one by one. Click, click, click. Possible memory loss will occur, along with long-term nerve degradation. It is tied to not having a brain attached to your nervous system. But the nerve degradation is nothing to worry about. Such degradation would take many lifespans to become evident, and all biology dies. 
Such tiny inconveniences are less than the greater convenience and conveyance. You see, if rendered unconscious by the pylons, you will be returned to the sink, seemingly instantaneously. <laughs> Dude, these doctors are nuts. Enough! We need your help. Excellent. This is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. Agreed. Oh, and I've used my robotical knowledge to, um, uh, transmit the radio map waves to... Settle down, Eight. I would have gotten it in a second, all right? Eight's transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They, um, they, well, move sometimes. Or get buried. Or blow up. Eight is correct. All we need are the schematics. This does not mean we do not want the cold hard technology, however. So do not give in to your biological tired laziness and decide you would sweat too much carrying them. You have a new spine. Use it. And even if you die in the act of reclamation, simply reaching them will auto-transmitify the schematics to us. That is still good. For us. Nonsense. This place is no more dangerous than a nuclear detonation site. Our technology is no more lethal than an overcharged Tesla cannon. The technologies are the X2 transmitter antenna array used to focus coherent thought at excessively high frequencies. The psychoanalytic cardiac dampening sneaky stealth suit. A suit like nothing this world has ever heard, seen, or could ever see. And AIDS sonic sound wave emitter projecto gun. Able to broadcast sound at lethal frequencies. It also gives a great bio gel massage. Hey, yo. <laughs> Dude, she's always doing that type of shit every time. Focused, your time investment will be minimal uh, by our standards. If you work quickly, you will be the recipient of a gesture of gratitude from us. We do not bestow these old world gestures lightly. Our intentions exactly. The important thing is you rush quickly through this task so as not to waste our time. Do not get curious or you will end up like the cat of Schrödinger. We feared you would be tempted to explore Big Mountain Crater and examine the many amazing non-mandatory research labs that lie off your designated path. The many such optional explorations are discouraged. Work hurriedly as if you have blinders on and leave curiosities and items of interest alone. So many sciences and developments. Pass them by. Let impatience and the desire to simply finish, to end it all quickly and carelessly guide you. Right you are, Ace. In our test results, we'll make a note about how quickly you ran our maze. Uh, an experiment. Nobel challenge. After all, there will be plenty of time afterward to partake of the experiments once our bidding is done. Oh, uh, Dr. Klein? Dr. Klein? If I may intersect for a moment. What is it? The lobotomite is asking me things, oh, and I'm trying to ignore them. My processors can't ignore you both at the same time. Well, you know how we asked it to fetch the sonic emitter thing? <laughs> Turns out we already have it. <laughs> what are the odds? What is this, a high school science fair? Get your act together. You're making us look like a collection of round earthers. You're always <laughs> yelling. Whose man's is this? And neither can my feelings. Whose man's are you? I am yelling because you contaminated specimens can't keep your probes off the volume knob on my voice module. It is truly the end of all intelligence when the lobotomite speaks more wisdom than you geniuses. So, if we have the sound wave, sonic projecto thing gun, 
Then what in Heisenberg's name do we need from X8? Anyone? I believe we need a new frequency embedded into the gun. It was designed to broadcast many sounds once charged. We just don't know the frequency. And it is lost in X8, just as X8 is forever lost to us. The sadness of my high school days, the sadness of my youth, my youth lost. Oh, really, Boros? All you did in high school was call me Fink Tattletail and all the kids you hated, you little teacher's pet brown hound. Give the lobotomite the emitter. Does it have an audio effect frequency loaded? Oh, I don't think so. Wait. What is he doing? I think he's sonjaculating into the gun. Getting it. Oh, no, what the hell? <laughs> Ding. Turkey's done. You give it to the lobotomite. I'm not touching that thing. Oh, I don't think so. I'll do it if you two are going to be ashamed of your own technological needs. Let me give it a little sonic sterilization first. Ooh. All right. All antibacterial fresh. Here, my little teddy bear. I have thoroughly removed all Robco Terminate codes view from the device. It is clean, shiny, and ready for your hands. Hmm, yes, I believe Watts Electronics tended to make the battery shelf life on the low end. Yeah, you can get some ammo for some speech checks, so it is nice to have high, uh, high skills for this DLC. Would always come up short right before a climax. Oh, nah. <laughs> they are no good for real. Never can keep those two straight. Anyway, we're out of small energy cells. Dala? You have some? Why do we... Actually, never mind. I don't even want to know. And no, I don't want to handle your batteries. Just pass them on to the lobotomite yourself. What did it say? Spit lead? What, like pencils? Oh, I think it wants a combustion pistol. A gun? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun. Guns kill. Leave big open holes in you that are like sores, but worse. Dr. Eight is correct. We already have given the teddy bear a lethal sonic death ray, filled with his sonic ejaculate. And oh my god. <laughs> God, the dialogue in this DLC, I forgot how great it is. It is fantastic. You just sit here and just die, just get hammered and, and just play old world blues. method into it's fine. Give the Lobato bear a combustion gun. Burrows, don't you have something like that? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun. Guns? Wait, I said that already. Yes, I have the Cyberdog gun. With the little floppy metal ears and the curious nose sensor. Here. Alright, just pass it. Chop, chop. Done. That gun makes me uncomfortable anyway. Always worried it's going to hump my chassis. Anything else, lobotomite? Fine. Moros, more ammo. The good stuff. Top shelf ammunition. Let's see. Hollow point? That's worthless, but tasty. Oh, and here's some JFP. As if bullets need jackets. The JFP might make it ill and poop a lot, but when you're hungry, you're hungry. The sonic emitter should be sterilized and more than enough for you to encircle your warm hands around. <laughs> yeah. Gently with your finger. <laughs> She's just dying to get it. <laughs> that device wasn't always a weapon. It was more like a force field kind of thing. Once. Force fields prevent us from moving, forward or backward. They are irritating. The sonic emitter was specially designed to disable our own safety fields here in Big Mountain. When some of us lost our access passes, Dr. O. That only happened once. 
And I know you were behind stealth fielding my lab keys, Dala. You formographer. Dr. O, you rewind that comment. Plenty of rewinding already going on in your formography tapes. Surprise the things don't snap out of their cases with repeated observations. Yes. Maybe. Well, no, not currently. Yeah, we lost that part of the schematics. Or Boros did, in one of his stupid labs. Or inside one of his stupid pets. It is lost. All questions lead to this conclusion. The blue fields within Berg Mountain shall be fielded with force. Forever. Fine, so, yes, get these things for us. Do not attempt to comprehend their complicated schematics. That is for us to do. Well, good. What are the token words spoken in this case? Uh, thank you? Uh, yes, thank you. Wait, is it leaving? Uh, but it's not a climb. The lobotomite will need rest, recuperation, things like that. I volunteer my chambers, so it might be stared at. My monitor radar is slowly scanning its form to collect sensitive data. No! That would put it too close to us. It could press buttons, turn lights on and off, and worse, let other lobotomites in. We can give it Mobius's old room. This is where its brain got scooped out anyway. And plus, some of its parts are already there. Might be more comforting for it to hang out with its spine and heart. Home is where the heart is, after all. <laughs> See what I did there? Wet literal. I suppose. We'll have to move that couch out of there. Been putting that off too long. Eight says, let the lobotomite take the Sync Central Intelligence personality chip and reinstall it. That stuffy Mobius program Butler can walk the lobotomite, feed it, barter with it for us. It would also prevent it from going to Higgs Village and taking up residence there with my teddy bears. And it would be nice to have it so close. Your logic combined with my desire to keep the think tank lobotomite free has swayed me. Lobotomite, take this chip to the sink, plug it in, and make sure the chip is clean or it could skip. Then make whatever crude biologic demands you need of the sink. It will cater to most of your hormonal whims. I cannot dispute your logic. Do we have objects to activate the chip's exchange routines? What? Like... stuff? Things? Yes. Things. I don't know. Might be some old Nuka-Cola or Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle caps lying around. It's not currency, per se. Still might be enough to trick the sink's trade routines. Mobius put that test line for caps in the code as a debug command, I think. I don't believe that was Mobius's reason. His wild speculation concerning post-Holocaust economic systems was quite extensive and of high decibel. Enough! Surrender these so-called bottle caps, Nuka and Sunset alike. In their role as things, they will serve as adequate test subjects. All right, all right, here, cap away. Hope that stupid chip chokes on them. Again, your logic is unassailable in its simplistic need. Oh? Fine. It's not going to help. That chip will probably refuse them anyway, as stuck up as it is. If I were not as intelligent as I am, I would feel as if perhaps I'm... How do you make the lobotomite a bottle? Again, the logic of the request is clear. <laughs> I just love this. <laughs> like, you just keep going. <laughs> this is just glorious. This is hysterical. Yet I am intrigued by this potential display. No, wait. You don't need to fill up the emitter again, really. I means things for trade. Display for trade. All right, let's consolidate. 
There's gotta be some junk around here. Magazines, useless, more camps, medicinal supplies, useless. Here. Are there other chips? Are you echoing what he said, or are you asking for real? He's asking, yes. Dr. Klein, there are many other personalities. If you recall, you hurled them off the sink balcony after your argument with Mobius. It is not an argument if one is clearly right and the other is clearly wrong. I remember now. Yes, Lobotomite, there are other chips. If you want, find them. I believe they're stored on holotapes in many of our facilities. But you should stay out of those. No exploring and discovering things. The sink central intelligence should be enough for your <laughs> needs. Yes, you may need to wiggle it in a bit, but don't force it. We can't recode them if you break it. There is no more we can do to aid you, and our patience levels are depleted. Now go. Rest in the sink if you must, but leave us to our research. Uh, if you're done, can we move again? My biogel's starting to crampagulate. Of course! Come and there you have it, that's the think tank, and these, these freaking morons, all they do is just yap them. Oh, dollar. You are an unusual specimen. Might as well. <laughs> you so boldly walk into the mighty expanse of the think tank, fearless and proud as a teddy bear. Between the extraction of their higher reasoning abilities and urination-inducing fear, most lobotomites dare not approach us, let alone speak to us. Yet you have no such fear. Facing me, epidermis fleshed with blood, plasma running molten beneath, your face contorting with muscular expression. Will you indulge me? Say a few words. Face towards the monitors, please, so that I might record it for further examination. Yes, yes, go on. Seeing your lips and mouth forming the words, both revolting and somehow... How does it feel to have the flesh roll around in your mouth like that? To control each muscle and the tongue, like having a fish or extremely dexterous slug lolling and flopping in one's mouthful cavity. What? Nonsense. What? What are you doing? Stop it. Why? Why are you making me partake in this filthy formography? Enough. I'm already... <laughs> Percolated. You have sufficient... Percolated. <laughs> It is about the biology of lobotomites. <laughs> Dala is, was definitely a freak before they threw her fucking brain in that machine. And tissue. Perhaps, perhaps there is value in what you say. I, I did so enjoy breathing once, long ago. Would you? I feel so ashamed, but yet so intrigued. You'll need to give me a rest in between visits, or else my gel might run over. If you're ready, let me radar scan you. Slowly. Woo. Just fucking <laughs> shot her shit at the courier just by looking at it. <laughs> oh man. Oh, removing it is a simple procedure. 
nature. Well, except the complications it can cause to the heart and spine. Yeah. But once the heart and spine are gone, no trouble at all. Clamp the subject down. One laser incision around the skull. Crack. Snip. Done. The brain is finally free of the skin envelope, which is then kept automated for cleanup duties around Big Mountain. The bottom lights. With you, however, something is definitely wrong. We've never had a lobotomite. Yeah, it's because of the... Speaking after being forced it's because the, the courier, he got shot. So the bullet made his brain a little irregular, and that's how he was able to not get, like, screwed over when he got lobotomized. You and Christine got lucky, but unfortunately she suffered, as, you know, from her own talk to she's like, oh, things are fuzzy. This and that, you know? My theory is that the Tesla coils in your brain pan are still connected to your brain somehow. It really could be anywhere. Brains are a lot smarter than most researchers give them credit for. We still have your spine and heart. If you were to somehow find your brain, wherever it slurped off to, you could humanically reduce yourself again. Alright. And... So, uh, Dr. Dalo splooshed, and that was definitely a good, weird way to introduce ourselves to Old World Blues. <laughs> what we will do, though, is on the next video, we'll probably just take care of this quickly, give a quick yap to each guy to get this quest done, and then we'll go install the sink, the CIU, and, and then we'll start working probably with the Sonic Emitter up. But yeah, this is the map for Old World Blues. It's uh, I don't I know it don't look that big, but it looks can be deceiving. This is uh, there's a lot of Ulysses Point, you know. There's we'll we'll go to Ulysses Point for sure to check out what he left behind for us, cause we gotta go see him soon. And uh, I think there's also a location for for uh, Elijah, but. He also has a uh, his own. I don't know where it's somewhere, but we'll worry about that later. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stop Next on. time, I mean, if we'll you deal want. with these morons. Go to the install the sink and keep it rolling. This DLC is pretty funny, as you can see from the dialogue. They're all cooked, and the gameplay is pretty fun. The lobotomites are hilarious and also creepy. You'll see when we get to it.